Savvy Rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL1800 Honda Goldwing. That Goldwing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. What's going on YouTube? This is Carnell. Today is Saturday uh, the 28th. It's about 3 3 p.m. I'm out here in the garage working on Black Flash. I had a problem with my TM, uh, TPMS, my tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, for some reason, it just kept staying on. Uh, after the bike was started and I was just could not figure it out and I'm just not finishing up performing all the little maintenance I could do and I wanted to go over uh, what I end up finding out about my TPM, uh, TPMS hopefully that you won't end up making the same mistakes uh, that I did uh, to me I was thinking because I'm dealing with the cold weather uh, one day, the next day is hot, the next day is raining. Dealing with all these different temperatures, I figured that what was causing my TPMS uh, indicator light to come on. Uh, but when it starts staying on, I realized that my TPMS itself uh, had an issue. Now keep in mind, once the TPMS light comes on, when you start on your bike, it's supposed to go off within a couple of seconds of the bike being on. Uh, that's the normal operation for the TPMS and the, the uh, indicator light for uh, for the gold wing for us the low t uh, pro uh, tire pressure system. Both of those indicators are supposed to go off uh, after the bike has been started, but mine was staying on. The TPMS, the the TPMS, the t uh, tire pressure monitoring system, if it comes on and stay on. Your low pressure tire indicator does not come on at all. The TPMS indicator is telling you that something is wrong with the entire TPMS system. So I'm going to go over the steps that I did to, to solve the issue I was having. And it's going to surprise you at the end of what I did. And I'm hoping you all don't have this same type of issue. That's why I'm going to uh, go over what I did. Uh, first thing I did was my uh, air tank here. I went on and drained it, uh, drained my air tank. Uh, normally, you're supposed to drain your air tank if you got using a home, uh, a, a mobile air tank. You're supposed to drain them every time you're done using them. Uh, as you can see, uh, if you don't drain them, uh, condensation end up building up uh, in the system. And once I saw this, I was afraid that this was probably what was causing my uh, TPMS indicator light to come on and stay on because my air tank was simply shooting condensation uh, inside my tires. Now I don't know, I, from what I understand, that's not supposed to be possible with these types of uh, gauges for your air tank is supposed to prevent water from being going to going through in your tires but hey you know I'll just take a precaution so once I saw the water coming out uh, the next thing I did was took a stem wrench stem wrenches come in all different sizes uh, but they all do the same thing uh, this is my favorite one right here 
I went on and took a stem wrench and actually went to my tires, pulled the cap off, and took <clears throat> out the stem with the stem being at the bottom. Holding on to the stem wrench, holding on to the stem wrench, I went on and pulled out the stem, and uh, and the, once the uh, stem came out, all the high pressure air uh, was shooting out the tires. So just in case something was in inside my tires, you know, like condensation coming from my tank, uh, that high pressure was going to push it out. But you got to be careful with that step because that stem, if you're not holding on to it when you unscrew it, it'll shoot across the room. And those little bad boys are so hard to find that you probably you probably won't be able to uh, find them if they do shoot across the room on you. Okay, now the next thing that I did, once the air drain, I filled my tank back up, I put my stem back in and re-aired my tires with fresh new pumped air from my air tank. Now, in filling it up, using one of my my air gauges here, uh, keep in mind, I want y'all to see that there's three or four air gauges up here. When I was filling up my air tires, uh, filling up the, the tires with air, According to my manual for the Goldwing, the front tire is 39 PSI and the back tire is 41 PSI. But because I'm dealing with a TPMS issue, I highly recommend adding at least 2 PSI higher to try to solve the issue. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So that means that you'll need to pump at least 41 PSI in the front and 43 PSI in the back. Making sure you put your stem in, pump up the tires, 41 front, 43 back. Start the bike up. Your indicators will still be on, so you'll have to actually take the bike out and go for a ride around the block and come back. By the time you make that block and come back, your indicators should be off. The TPMs TPMS, the TPMS tire pressure monitoring system should be off at that time go ahead and put the bike back on the kickstand and take your air pressure gauge and remove those two uh, two extra pounds of PSI from the tires now this is the tricky part this is what got me when measuring my PSI for my front tire and the back tire, my gauge was actually telling me it was 39 PSI in the back and 41 in the front. But the minute that I turned my bike back on, my TPM, TPMS indicator would come back on. Come to find out, the problem was simply I had a bad gauge. So I went and bought another gauge, pumping the tires back up to the 39 PSI using the uh, using another gauge, 39 in the front, 41 in the back. Took the bike out for another run, came back, checked it again with the new gauge, 39, 41. And my TPMS is now working properly. As you can see, as soon as I turn the bike on, a couple of seconds, the TPMS goes off. So, my gold wing tip hack for the TPMS is to make sure you, you check your stem, make sure your stem is sealed, and make sure you have more than one gauge. For checking the, for checking the tire pressure, uh, the tire pressure for your for the uh, for the gold wing, the TPMS is exactly right. It will come back on if there's enough, not enough air pressure in your tires. But I could not figure it out because my gauge was telling me I had the correct PSI, but it was defective. So after I got another gauge 
and put the correct gate uh, the correct PSI with using that new gauge my TPMS issue is solved so guys hey I hope that helped you and the reason I'm explaining it to what I, what I just did I'm hoping you all don't have the same type of issue because it is frustrating to see that the TPMS light come on and you can't figure out why and the TPMS is actually telling you that you do not have enough tire pressure in the system and your low pressure tire system indicator stops working because that TPMS once it owns it's telling you something is wrong with the system so that was my hack for the day on a little issue that can cause a big problem a defective air gauge hey that's my spill for the day youtube y'all have a good one gopro stop recording